Hello everyone, I am Kamath Gunavardhana. I am 2016 and 22 for the system modeling and simulation project. I have chosen a case study from the SCM blog, which belongs to a restaurant called Paramount. Actually, I am going to do a transportation optimization for the Paramount restaurant. First of all, let's find out what is this Paramount restaurant and the, what is this Spice Maxis. In the restaurant industry in India, the Paramount restaurant is a very popular company for its Hyderabad biryani. They are producing the spices mixes that prepare for the biryani. The main product of the company known as Spice Max and it's a well-known brand among Indians. The Spice Max is a delicious food seasoning. It's made from blend of different spices. They are mixed together and heated over low flame to Bring out the flavor of each spices and then run through a blender to create a flavorable powder that is used to season many kinds of meats, vegetables and prepare popular dishes served in restaurants throughout the India. When we talk more about the Paramount restaurant, Hyderabad is the city where the company was founded and where it has prospered for many years. To maintain high quality of product and customer service, Paramount has not opened new branches for a very long time. But now, due to the tough competition from various brands, the company has decided to open new branches in the cities of Bangalore, also known as the Bangalore, Chennai, Vijayawada, Hyderabad, Pune, and Sikandabad. As I mentioned earlier, the company's manufacturing facility is in Hyderabad and it has a Distribution center in Hyderabad as well. So moving on. This is the supply chain model for the Paramount restaurant. The manufacturing facility and the distribution center. The company are located where it was founded and prospered for many years, Hyderabad. So their customers will be the new stores that they have planned to open in the six different cities of Bangalore, Chennai, Vijayawada, Hyderabad, Pune, and Chikadabad. So the case study has mentioned the Paramount restaurant on mainly three different transportation assets. They are small trucks where the maximum carrying weight is limited to one ton. Then the medium trucks where the maximum carried weight is limited to 4.5 tons. And finally the large trucks where the maximum carrying weight is limited to 9 tons. Also they have mentioned the both volume and the operating cost per kilometer in dollar for each asset in their studies as well. So let's move to the demonstration of the project. So for this project, I have chosen the supply chain guru software. The objective of this case study is to improve the performance of the Paramount restaurant supply chain. Due to that reason, I am going to do a transportation optimization for the Paramount restaurant based on the information available in the case study. Here I have selected the base mode and the transportation optimization under technologies that are available in supply chain guru software. As we already know, we use the tables to enter the data that required for the do the uh, transportation optimization through the supply chain guru software. So in this case, we have to fill the seven tables. Those are customers, sites, products, transportation assets, sets availability, freight, and the shipments. Uh, let's move to the uh, customers table. As I have mentioned in the presentation, the company has six main customers. The stores in the Bangalore, Chennai, Ijevada, Hyderabad, Pune, and Sikandabad. So I have named them as the Bangalore store, Chennai store, Vijayawada store, and Hyderabad store, Pune store, and the Sikandabad store. Also, I have entered the details such as the city, state, country, latitude, and the longitude as well. So let's move to the sites table. This is the sites table. The company owns the manufacturing facility and the distribution center in the Hyderabad city, and they they are the sites according to the supply chain model. Also, I have entered the city, 
state, country, latitude and longitude of the sites and sites as well. So this is the geocode of the model. As you can see, all the customers and the sites are located in the India. The green triangles indicate the sites, while the blue triangles indicate the customers. So let's move to the products table. So this is the products table. As I have mentioned earlier, the Spice Max is the main product of the Paramount Restaurant Company, but they have not mentioned the different types of products that they have. So I assume they have five different kinds of products under their facility and I have named them as Spice Max A2, Spice Max E. So here the transportation assets table. The company has mainly three types of transportation assets, small, medium and large trucks. As I have mentioned before, for all the trucks, the round trip time is years. And the basic details such as the capacity in quantity, capacity in weight have entered the table. So let's move to the assets availability table. So I have assumed both the manufacturing facility and the distribution center on five small trucks, three medium trucks and one large truck separately. This is the rate table. Under the rate table, the per distance cost, duty time cost and the transit stop cost. For all three transport assets have entered to the table. The operating cost per kilometer in dollars that I have mentioned in the presentation uses the per distance cost in here. So let's move to the final table that is shipments. So this is the shipment table. All the transfer from the manufacturing facility to distribution center and the all the shipments from distribution center to the six customers have entered in this table. The transfers name as the transfer 1 to transfer 5. The shipment, shipment has a name as the shipment 1 to shipment 27 here. Altogether, there are 32 records available in the shipment table. The source, destination, product, quantity, weight, then order date and the due date are entered in here. The case study wants to check the information and results belong to 30 day period. So I have as I have used a one month period of records in here. So let's run the model. So select technology and the problem type is transportation optimization and the model horizon is June 1st to 31st of June 2021. So let's run the model. So this is indicate the model executed successfully. Let's see the results. These are the output tables that I have got. This is the transport summary table and the transportation assets summary table, then the route summary. Those are the input shipments that I have entered for the model and those are the baseline output shipment and here shipment output and delivered shipment then the road details segments and the stops so with all of these here come to the end of the presentation and thank you